crowd over there. So, hey, everybody, listen up. So everybody let's start pulling frames. Tell me how you pull frames. Okay, nope. So alright, here we go. We always wanna this bottom box was clean, very good from last year. Remember we always want our frames centered. So if you go digging in and start you're gonna start breaking frames. So I'll do the first one here. So we got it over there as far as we could. So we just want to we want them really gentle. Get these out. We don't want to break them. Okay, now we got room. So we got all this gray mold here. So it, the reason this mold is here is see how I'm scraping it? it and you can see there's some old uh, olive larvae and some old pollen pockets in here. A lot of pollen right in the center. See all that old pollen? Well, that's the bee bread. Okay? And bee bread, when the hive starts to dwindle like this or it dies out, that bee bread is really going to mold up. Also, you see this crack right along here between the comb? That's what I was talking about when you take, take the frames out. So, as, as frames get older, they're going to draw moisture and expand, but we really want to make sure we keep it clean. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you just, we're going to scrape that off and 
really good way to do this is once you get everything clean, let's say you, you got this situation and you got it all cleaned up, uh, take your bottom board off and on nice days like today, just take the box and stand it up for a couple days, let the wind blow through there, it'll help dry it out. If it's raining, put it in the garage in a box fan for a couple days, it'll dry it out real quick. Okay, so again, so now see that's Hot bar starting to separate. I don't have my box over here to re-nail it. We can just go ahead and it, it'll be fine. But we just want to make sure we get everything nice, nice and clean. Now, brand new hive tools work great because they're nice and sharp. I always advocate this hook portion always being sharp because it's gonna it's gonna make your job so much easier, especially if you had bees on it. Um, but I brought a new hive tool, main reason is just in case of disease, right? So I've got like 12 of them in my pickup. But that's what we want to do, and then we're just going to set this frame. You see there's a lot of, a lot of honey stores in there, or probably, some, probably a lot of syrup stores. Now this... You know, you could get by by saving this. This is really not that bad. They'll clean that up and they'll clean this little bit off. And you could save this. If it was my hive, I'd just throw it away. But if you if you needed to save it, you could because that's really once you clean that off, they'll clean that up. They'll clean that up in a heartbeat and and they'll, they'll, yep, yep. Yes, it's mold. Yeah, it's mold. All right, you guys, think that somebody got, take turns. To get a package going. You can feed them initially, you know, just to, just to like kick them in gear and whatnot. Yeah. Um, but it's not necessary, especially if you have drawn out foam. Okay, well, what so, I was thinking I would do is a new, a new box down in there, but also take out a couple of other frames, maybe over toward the edge, and replace them with uh, and frames that have honey in them. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt them. So an easy way to clean these bars. Yes. Because then you can just like this.
dysentery on here, a whole bunch of real dark stuff, uh, that's telling you that they've been sick, they're sick, and something's wrong, and that's just going to give you something to look for when you get inside your hive, so always make sure, this hive obviously doesn't have anything going on, it's a, it's a strong hive, but that's something that you can look for when you're, when, when you're checking out your hives for the first time in the spring, is always look for any indication that you might be. So the first thing that you want to do is, I'm going to let you guys do all this. So the first thing you're going so to do remember, is take off your lid, we're, we're trying to work set it on the ground, or okay. if you have a little stand like so this, you're going to set it on the stand. Now, who can see that here? So what is this in here? Yep, yep. yep. So there, it will be got a, a real be problem. A br uh, brown colored, uh, you know, poop, right, beep poop. Right. And it's going to be real runny. Yeah, it's diarrhea. Real runny. So now you're going to want to start to, number one, you would clean off, you'd smoke them down a little bit more. It's a good looking hive. Yeah, it is. Like this, and you're going to do this to your hives if you already have them. I don't have a hive anymore. That is fresh pollen. That's oh, just wow. been coming in. And when you see that, that's ideal, but it also is choking down on the queen a little bit. So you want to monitor that, but they're getting an excessive amount of pollen in at my house. Because they're filling up the cells. They're filling up the cells. Yep. That's oh, a yep. lot of pollen on one frame. Mm -hmm. That's not new. There's nothing there. There's no nectar out there yet. Okay. So they're opening that up and moving it around. They're moving it. Uh-huh. Same thing there. Okay. Okay. And just set it. There. Set it right over. Okay. Let's keep going. If we can find her, I yeah. haven't seen any eggs yet. I'll tell you, once they got into the the top box, they were so much calmer than that that bottom oh, bottom oh, box. Yes, yeah. the yep, I see her. There she side. is. So we're gonna yeah, we're gonna look side. here, and now I want you to look on. See her so fast. Yeah. You'll see her as soon as you turn it over. Oh yeah, yeah. You see her. So now, oh, yeah. what you want to do? I want you to look for eggs. Eggs. Yeah, she does look big. Now see how dark she is? Yeah. She's a carniolan, you can tell. Oh. Yeah. How big and fat she is. Yeah, she's a big queen. She's a nice looking she's queen. She's laying good too, so. And what she's she's looking right now for a place to yep. plant Back herself into. to lay some more eggs. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. So do you see? 